All right, guys, this is Doc M, and this is a beautiful morning in Stranded Deep, where things quickly can turn into horror scenarios and deadly situations. Like, for example, you finding a shipwreck like that, walking up on it, oh, and suddenly, suddenly falling through this hatch. And exactly that happened to me in my let's play, and I was stuck in this hatch. There's no way. I could wiggle myself out of there and I was checking the internet all over the place for suitable solutions and there is some ways obviously to get out of here. Um, one would be if you're lucky you can kind of glitch out here and if your raft is close by you might be able to grab it by glitching through the walls like that, drag in your raft by holding right click, somehow dragging it in there and climb out. That is one thing I saw, but that only works in very rare occasions. Another uh, idea people were talking about were kind of trying to glitch out by abusing the game mechanics a bit. You kind of find a place like that, for example here on this crate, where you kind of halfway stuck through the... Um, yeah... Um, walls here, where you kind of clip through like this, then you would go um, save the game and yeah, then go back into the game um, while the loading still keep on moving and kind of wiggle around and jump. That also only works sometimes and tr um, yeah, takes a lot of patience and yeah, sometimes doesn't even work at all. So right now I'm pretty much trapped. Um, of course the logical solution to get out of here would be you save beforehand and I did that luckily. So I will just quit now and I w wouldn't save and load the game. Um, as I was saving shortly before we started the video outside the shipwreck actually. So here we go. It's dark now. It's late. That's when I last saved and I'm out of the boat again. Um, another trick of course is you take your tree with you and um, yeah two logs long and then you stick it down the hedge. But yeah when this stupid thing um, happens to you like it happened to me you just walk up here and huh, what's this you look around and all of a sudden you fall into the dang hole and you're stuck here that's that's pretty much nothing you can do and yeah with some simple editing of the save file you can actually get yourself out of here and I'm gonna show you that now sadly it's really dark right now um, so um, I'll stay down here until it's daytime a bit and then we save and um, then I'll be back and I show you how to get out of here takes only 30 seconds. Alright, quickly made me a bed so we can sleep the night away and now let's get to it. Daytime. Nice. Okay, so let's assume you made this mistake. You were smart enough to figure out, oh, let's throw a palm tree over here and you walk on the ship and you fell in here. Now you're trapped and pretty much what you do now is you save your game, yes you do, and you quit to desktop. Alright guys, and yeah, we are on my desktop here, and what you do now is after you saved your game and you're stuck in the boat, you locate your stranded deep game files. Normally, you know, you have that in your Steam's uh, folder. If you don't know where it is, just go to your Steam library, right click on the game, uh, properties, and then show um, you know local files and then you can look it up and then you go to your stranded deep data and keep on going deeper into data and you will see your save file and it's a JSON file and um, you don't need a special editor just um, use your yeah very simple um, you know Windows onboard editing software and it will come up with this thing which will confuse you at the first sight. Um, let's get it full screen. It's a crazy wall of text and yeah what we're looking for is the player position here and luckily it's right at the start here and yeah this gives uh, the player position for your save file and we're stuck now so we just go in here and we see the coordinates here minus 33 something you know in X Y and Z and you just go in here and simply um, edit that a bit let's say we put a minus 50 here so we offset our position a bit and to be sure I don't know put another three meters on there or something you know and that's the first thing now um, you need to need to search for one more spot and you hit control F and that brings up your search window here 
right? So now you pretty much just search for player and continue search and um, the first hit you should get is down here player movement you see that player movement I'll highlight it for you transform local position blah 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 and right here we pretty much uh, just make sure we add in the same values we did on top so here we did like 50 and here we added 3 meters and now make sure to hit save um, after you did these two fixes there really simple you know and um, keep in mind now this will you teleport you around we will pretty much teleport ourselves out of the death trap so uh, this can also be used um, if you want to teleport yourself around and you know lost your main world you know you save your file check where your main world was and uh, then you can teleport yourself back there whenever uh, need may be uh, it's kind of cheaty but you know just um, yeah putting it out there. Now let's go back into the game and check if the fix actually worked. Alright, so we're back in the game and we modified our save file. Now I'm gonna press load game and see where we end up now. And yeah, we only used a few meters of offset and voila, we're out of it. Right next to the boat, so we offset it as about 10 blocks next to the boat and yeah. Our save file is saved, we can continue playing and we didn't lose all our progress which is yeah, a shame if that happens to you. So yeah, if you fall victim to the ominous death boats here in Stranded Deep, just make sure to do these quick edits with your save files. You can use any text editor for it, make sure to save. If you cannot edit it, make sure you have administrator rights. But yeah, that should be it. Very simple and it works 100% guaranteed and comes with the nice bonus um, that you can probably you know, use it for your cheaty ways a bit. <laughs> so yeah, thanks for watching. I'm out. Bye.